Well, I think it's very exciting. What has the chief of cardiac surgery at Barnes Jewish Hospital smiling and some heart patients breathing easier? I think it is a sense of relief and I think, you know, the patients are very satisfied um, with this new approach. It's a development that allows those with a mitral valve heart problem to recover faster with less pain and smaller scars. Okay, table down. In the past, when surgeons repaired the part of the heart called the mitral valve, that when leaking causes shortness of breath, they had to make a large incision down the patient's front and divide the entire breastbone. Now, doctors at Barnes Jewish Hospital are repairing those valves using minimally invasive techniques. We've developed specialized instruments that have uh, simplified it and made it possible to repair mitral valves to an incision about this big and we just make it um, underneath the armpit um, over on the right side and that um, you know is a much nicer incision um, for women we put it right under the um, right breast and you know not only is it good from a cosmetic standpoint but there's quite a bit less pain associated with that we just go right in between the ribs Plus, this type of surgery usually means one day less in the hospital and a return to activity in just a couple of weeks. That's two to four weeks faster than the old method. We've seen a significant decrease in the infection rate because you can imagine if you have a big incision down your front, we found that that tends to get infected about one in a hundred times. But the mini thoracotomy incision that we use for mitrals, we really have hardly seen any infection. It's a fairly resistant incision. Not only is it much smaller, but going through the side seems to be beneficial in that way. When we've compared our minimally invasive cases to our open full sternotomy cases, we've also noticed less bleeding and a shorter time on the ventilator. And all that speeds up your recovery. Virtually any patient needing mitral valve repair is a candidate for the minimally invasive surgery. However, because of the smaller incisions, it must be performed perfectly. You need a skilled team of people to take care of the patients. And I think that's one of the real unique aspects of Barnes Jewish Hospital. The incredibly talented people we have working here. It's exciting for me to be able to take part in these advances and it's particularly gratifying to be able to develop uh, strategies to try to decrease the risk of surgery for patients.